participators, Ms. Zellett here. Um, today we'll be working with Unit 2, Week 6, Lesson 1, titled Concrete and Abstract Nouns. Today's objectives are, I can explain the difference between concrete and abstract nouns, and I can identify concrete and abstract nouns. Before we begin learning about concrete and abstract nouns, let's review common and proper nouns. Remember a common noun uh, names a person, place, or idea, a thing or idea, and a proper noun names a particular person, place, thing, or idea, and begins with a capital letter. So we're going to be working with noun pairs, common and proper. I've listed a few common nouns, girl, street, school, city, and restaurant, and we are going to think of proper nouns um, for each of the common nouns. All right, so girl, I'm just going to come up with the name of a particular girl. I'm going to use Ashley. Okay, and of course, we always capitalize proper nouns, names of people. Next one is street. Can you think of a name of a street um, in your neighborhood or somewhere in Rapid City? I'm going to come up with Main Street. And of course, that is a proper noun. We capitalize it. School. Um, think of the name of your particular school. I work at Canyon Lake. That is a <clears throat> proper noun. So, of course, we capitalize that. City, think of the name of a city. I'll go ahead and name our city, Rapid City. Again, capitalize that. It's a proper noun. And restaurant, think of one of your favorite restaurants. I'm not sure if this is my favorite, but it might be yours. I'm going to say McDonald's. All right. Hopefully that helped as a review um, on our common and proper nouns. All right, let's move on to today's lesson, which is concrete and abstract nouns. All right. A concrete noun names a person, place, or thing. It is something you can see hear, smell, taste, or feel. It's physical. You can see a sunset. You can hear music. You can smell the aroma coming from a kitchen. You can taste a peach, and you can feel a piece of fabric. An abstract noun is an idea concept. You cannot see, hear, smell, taste, or feel it. Some of the ideas or concept might be love, Courage, idea, trust, happiness. All right, let's take a look at this Your Turn activity. You are asked to write each sentence, underline each noun, and write whether it is concrete or abstract. Um, we'll do the first one together. We have excitement field the auditorium. Excitement filled the auditorium. Go ahead and write that down, please. Okay. Excitement filled the auditorium. So we are going to underline excitement and auditorium. Okay. We know that auditorium is a somewhere that you can go to. You can physically walk or go to and go to an auditorium, all right? So that would be a concrete noun. We also have excitement. That's a sense of a feeling or being. So that would be your abstract noun. So I will just write abstract here and concrete auditorium. All right, your turn. Go ahead and write the next two sentences down. All the singers sang with joy. My heart filled with glee as I watched the puppies play. And identify the nouns, underline the nouns, and then <clears throat> write whether they it is a concrete or abstract. All right, so just put me on pause while you do that. Okay, welcome back. Uh, let's see how you did on those. Let's look at the next sentence. All the singers sang with joy. 
All right, we have two nouns in this, singers and joy. So hopefully you identified those two nouns. Singers is something we can physically see with our eyes. We can touch a singer, it's a person. So that is a concrete noun. Joy is a state of being or feeling. We cannot hold joy in our hand, so to speak. That is an abstract noun. Next sentence, my heart filled with glee as I watched the puppies play. All right, heart is concrete. Um, it can physically be seen. Um, and glee is a state of being. It's a state of being in joy or fe feeling happy. So that is an abstract noun. And puppies, of course, is a concrete noun because we can see a, a puppy. All right, well, hopefully you did well. Please remember to go to your wonders to-do list and do any activities that have been assigned to you. You have a great day.